Okay, the curb strap is let out almost all the way. I'm just gonna get it way loose so that as she, as I try to put this in her mouth, it doesn't hit her teeth. Okay, here we go. This three-year-old has never had anything but a snaffle in her mouth. Trying to figure out what it is. There she is, she's already picking it up. Okay. She goes, I don't know about this. Now, I'm not gonna put this way up in her mouth. I'm not gonna put it too tight. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's pretty comfortable. And what I mean by being pretty comfortable is I can kind of look at her mouth and I can touch the, the side of the uh, head stall here and notice that it does not pull on her really hard. I'm just gonna see what she does here for a second. And just as kind of an experiment, uh, I have not bedded her in this. Uh, I'm gonna jump on her and just kind of play with her and see what she does. First of all, this, got, this horse has got a good mind. That helps a lot too. But um, we're gonna see what she does here. First, I'm gonna take the shank here and just kind of pull it back here. Okay, you see how far this rotates? You have to be careful right in here if you need to pull one that far, it may pinch in there. Now, if you don't notice that and you think everything's going well, and you go out there and start pulling on it, and all of a sudden the horse just throws its head upside down, don't think it's the bit. It's the adjustment of the bit. So we're going to adjust this. It's going to tighten up the curb strap a couple notches here. I'm going to pull it again, kind of take a look at it here. That is much better. It rotates. And that's the key. It rotates and then takes a hold of it, of the horse's mouth. And it is not pinching in this area here. That's very important. All right, let's see what happens. OK, when I first start here, I'm just going to take and bring my hand out the side and just kind of pull around to the side, making it very simple when we first introduce this to the horse for her to understand that we're going to the side, because again, this is a shank bit. If you come into here and start pulling on it, it's going to pull straighter, and it's gonna turn over in the horse's mouth, and she won't be able to distinguish easily, that's the whole part, easily, whether you're trying to get her to the side or back. So we can just sweep her around here. Bring the hand to the side, and you can see she's relatively comfortable with it. Matter of fact, this is, um, pretty darn good for a baby and never having this on and again she's being very quiet which helps but she's packing this very well and there's the bend if you place come on baby if you place your hand simply in other words out to the side the horse will get a very good explanation of it okay now I'm gonna go jog a big circle out here Now really, she's just kind of moving away from that bit softly herself. And let's just say that that is the action of the bit, meaning the design of the bit is as it rotates, it will induce the horse to actually set its head a little bit, a little bit of vertical flexion, a little bit of a head set. Now, for experimentation, I'm going to pick up these reins and just kind of Ask her very softly with my finger, see if she'll drop her head. <laughs> she is really doing quite well for a youngster. This horse has only been, been ridden in a snaffle bit. This is the way a lot of the horses will react to it if they've been green broke relatively well. Okay, we're gonna make a stop here. Okay, now, that's just a baby. She kind of pushed her nose out, but let's see if I can bring her nose back a little bit. Okay, she doesn't know it. There, there. She's got the idea. And this horse has never had a leverage bit on her, and you can see by her eyes and her mannerisms, 
She's kind of looking around, but she, there is no fear whatsoever in her, in her eye there at all. This horse, when I was riding her to Snaffle, when I was getting ready to show, she would have almost this much vertical flexion, but it would not be obtained this easily. It was a heck of a lot more work. This is like just coming out here and riding one of my older, more finished horses. Very simple, getting the point across to her without any um, discomfort at all. This horse is not upset in the least. Horse after horse after horse, I am amazed that the transition by using this bit oftentimes is so simple and it, it, is, it makes a very clear picture to the horse and makes my job a heck of a lot easier. And we do this on all of them. Let's hit the lope, see what happens. Okay, we're having a good day, all right? That's all right, anybody sees this video is not gonna believe it anyway. And she's starting to get real quiet. Okay, here we go, we're gonna hit a stop here. Good girl, unreal. <laughs>